Hi there, cutie pie. Okay, enough with the shillies. Okay, um, we got 2018. This is fresh off the press uh, about a few hours ago. Ban list and standard. Oh, yeah, it's going down. We are shutting down some decks for darn sure. Or at least making them not so overly competitive. <clears throat> when percentages are going to take a dive here. A tune with Aether. This is an article by Ian Duke over on MagicWizards.com. Um, we have a tune with Aether starting off. You all know this card, a tune with Aether. It's a one drop. <clears throat> Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. You get two energy. Well, that's great. We're going to go ahead and ban it. We'll explain in a minute. Rogue Refiner. When Rogue Refiner enters the battlefield, draw a card, and you get two energy. That's pretty ridiculous as well. Uh, this all has to do <clears throat> with uh, Temer. Teamer. I like to say Teamer. Uh, Timmer. Timmer. Tigger. 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 Timmy. 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 Okay, we went on a tangent there. We're done with that. Let's go back. Focus. Got to keep the mind here. Okay. I'm not good at doing that. So here's uh, the win percentage of uh, some of these decks, and it's just uh, usually a little over the top, okay? And uh, they don't like that. So what they ended up doing, uh, this guy is going on about uh, the metagame, uh, making up 20% of the decks um, will have uh, this Tamir energy in it. And that's too much. So then that drew red flags, basically. So they had to take out some of um, Tamir energy and Remin' Up Red together. These two archetypes represent more than 40% of the competitive metagame. That's when they see problems, when there's just... Too much of uh, too much of a good thing, and it's just dominating the entire game when when the majority is made up of these decks. Because I mean, we all want we all want diversity, don't we? In the end, isn't that what we all want? We want to mix things up. We don't want everything just to be controlled by one small group or one group of cards, and that takes away the fun, right? <clears throat> so that's basically what they had to do here. They had to get rid of Attune with Aether and Rogue Refiner, as well as Ramming Up Ruins, because uh, that was the most winning deck in Standard. Believe it or not, was the Ram It Up Red. There's your percentages and whatnot. Um, just insane. That, I mean, 72.3%. Whoa. That's pretty high. Uh, the win percentages are real in this one. When when they just, when they, the worst was 46.6% with the Temer Black Energy. But that's, when you're looking at 70.8, 72.3, I mean, those are huge numbers. And these decks are just dominating those types of decks. There's not much competition. And when there's not competition, they got to change things up. Uh, match win percentage in this format is a staggering 60%. For comparison, historically, the best deck in a late season format settles to around 52 to 53% against the field. This one's at 60%. That's pretty freaking ridiculous and huge. Gotta, gotta chill out on that, guys. Gotta chill out. The energy combinations and just easy ways, sometimes uh, for sure win conditions, it's just too much. Let's uh, look about uh, the Rampaging Ferocidon. Why did Rampaging Ferocidon get banned? What is going on? Rampaging Ferocidon's got the menace. Players can't gain life. Whenever another creature enters a battlefield, Rampaging Ferocidon deals one damage to that creature's controller. That's pretty brutal right there. It's got the menace ability. Players can't gain life, so it's going to shut down any life gain decks, mostly. Um, and then whenever the cre or a creature enters a battlefield, Rampaging Ferocidon deals one damage to that creature's controller. That's So you can't gain life. Let's say you have a life gain deck. You can't gain life, but you're going to take one damage every time you drop a creature. That uh, That's going to tear you uh, a new butthole right there. So I'm assuming... I had, I had my own personal thoughts about this uh, card being amazing. And uh, now it looks like they, they realize the awesomeness. If you watch my videos way back, you see me talking about how awesome it is. And everyone's like, that's not that great. Well, sometimes, you know, uh, the, the dummy uh, bad boy MTG over here gets things right. What would you know? Um, so, yeah. Therefore, uh, okay, conversely, we believe that banning Bomat Courier or Hazard of the Fervent would too dramatically change the play pattern of the deck and its win percentage. Okay, so they had some... Thoughts of just getting rid of these two cards, um, Bomat Courier and uh, Hazard the Fervent, but they did not. I'm glad they did not do that. 
Uh, Urshaka Kenra and On Crop Casher were two other cards we looked at in terms of making counterplay blocking more difficult. But I guess that didn't work either. However, many aggressive red decks have moved away from playing four copies of each of these. And even for those that do, the next best options aren't much weaker. That's what this gentleman is saying. Uh, Therefore, ramming up ruins and rampaging Ferocidon are banned in standard. This is in order to reduce the win percentage of aggressive red aggro, which makes sense. Uh, two strategies that have historically been effective against aggressive red decks. Uh, flooding the board, I guess, with these small creatures and gaining life. I'm just reading verbatim what this guy's saying. Um, and then in and, and their sideboards and even main decks, they were able to turn these matchups positive again. Wow. So just, I mean, too much of something awesome. Too much awesome sauce, guys. Um... However, in an analyzing the evolution of the Magic metagame over time, uh, contrasting pre and pre-post sideboard game. Okay, so wow, having him in the sideboard greatly increased win percentages. That's insane. So just including him in the sideboard, I guess, well, it's going to shut down decks, you know, any kind of life gain or anything. Um, you're just going to shut stuff down. So uh, credit over here to Ian Duke um, for this article, uh, his little press release here. There's not much more to say on it. These four cards have got the axe. Hopefully this will change up um, the metagame. This will change up what decks are played, and we can see more versatility. More versatile decks out in the field. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Should these have been banned and restricted? Uh, yes or no? I'd really like to know. And uh, that about sums it up, guys. I will freaking talk to you guys soon. You'll probably see me playing a game here in a little bit. Peace, love, and giggity.